Hello everyone! Well, I'm standing in what's going to be a rotten pumpkin patch come October. Something new we're adding to the haunt this year. Pat came up with the idea after my last video where I showed you how I make my rotten pumpkins and then we had them all set up here at the end of the video. Well, we thought it would be a nice addition to the haunt. So, I've been in rotten pumpkin mode ever since. I've been working on a few other things as well and I'm holding my very first Rotten Jack. And today, I'm gonna to show you how I make them. So I hope you enjoy this video, I hope to inspire, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay guys, so I've got my uh, balloon here with two layers of paper mache. I put on all at once, I let it dry overnight. I've got a simple face design here, I'm about ready to cut out with a serrated knife. First, I'm going to cut the bottom out, um, leaving a wide opening for it to be good and stable for when you are uh, done with the paper claying. We're only going to paper clay about two-thirds uh, up from, from the balloon and leave the bottom for the next day. Otherwise, it just gets too weak and just totally collapses. So, um, another thing that I've got in the waiting here for when I'm done with my paper clay are drying racks. These are really nice to set them on um, for when you know you can get air underneath it and uh, it can dry evenly and um, it'll support it well too. So yeah. So I've spent the last six hours working on these guys. It was like a rotten pumpkin marathon. So what I found what works best is if you keep your facial features up close to your stem. And I hot glue all my stems in before I start with the clay. And I also found that it works best, I started with the eyes with the clay I'd get them all done and the nose and then I would go and work on the back side because I found if I don't this is what ends up they, they end up face down it's like the face collapses before I could even get the back done on this one so he's not going to be wasted he's still going to be part of the uh, the rotten patch it's just that some are more rotten than others. So I'm going to um, let these dry and then it'll be time to give them their base coat and rot them up. Oh and yes, what, what hasn't sagged or what, what you want um, to sag, you can manipulate a little bit. I mean after time that paper clay does saturate you know, the paper mache, and uh, if something's not looking as rotted as you want, you can manipulate it yourself. Otherwise, gravity does take place even when you're not looking. So, all right, I'll be back when I'm ready for base coat. All right, guys, it's the next evening, and these pumpkins have been able to dry overnight 
I still think they need a couple more nights. If you remember this one, he was completely face planted last night. And then I just discovered that his face was still pretty, pretty wet and pliable. So I was able to lift him up and I've got a couple paint cans stacked underneath him. I put a fan on him overnight and he should be good to go. So I'm glad I was able to bring him back. And there's a couple, a couple little ones here that needed some help along the way too, but it's still a learning process. Maybe you guys have got um, some feedback on how to go about this. Anyway, I'm looking forward to painting them up. Okay, so it is the next evening. I got a little ahead of myself last night when I said that these guys just needed to dry and they'd be ready for base coat. I forgot about the bottom third that needed clay. So that's what I did tonight. And I'm gonna put a fan on them overnight. Probably let them dry a couple more days and then they'll be ready for base coating. So it's been kind of a rotten afternoon here, but in a good way. I figured we could do this guy together. Remember him? He was the face plant pumpkin. So these are the paints that I use. Every pumpkin gets a good two coats inside and out of this exterior flat. And the color I used was fresh tangerine. And then I sprayed the insides with the orange spray paint and then a shot of the yellow. And the two together make a real nice combination for the look of the inside of a pumpkin. And then I dry brush this apricot over the whole outside of the pumpkin. And then to rot it up, I start with burnt umber, black, gray, and white, pretty much in that order. Here's my brushes that I use. Let's get started. All right, so here I am starting with the apricot. I'm gonna dry brush over the whole pumpkin here. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about sealing these guys up. I usually use a driveway sealer or a spar urethane for my paper mache pumpkins. Um, these rotten ones, I wanted to keep them as realistic looking as I could. So I'm only going with the exterior paint and then I'm going to spray them good with a the Minwax polyurethane satin spray, um, which is pretty much the minimum as far as sealing goes. But all of my pumpkins get babysat over the two weeks that were open for Halloween. So um, none of them will see weather or rain. So no worries here, but if you think that your pumpkin's going to see some weather, you might want to seal them a little better than what I'm doing here. So I'm starting to rotten it up with the burnt umber here. I've got the whole pumpkin dry brushed in the apricot. I'm just going around the edges, the facial features, and the rotten areas. So as far as the stems go, I had only saved a few from last season. I ended up going on eBay and buying 20 stems for $20. And you'd be surprised at how many people are selling pumpkin stems on eBay. Um, anyway, that'll never happen again because I'll be saving all my stems from now on. But a um, dollar a stem isn't too bad. And then I bought paint and I always have the supplies for my paper mache, paper clay so these pumpkins certainly aren't a costly thing at all, pretty cheap to make. So you have nothing to lose by making one for yourself. So you might want to start by making a rotten pumpkin instead of a rotten jack. Then you could experiment with the two layers of paper mache and paper clay and gravity and how they work together and all of that. Um, if you haven't already checked out my Rotten Pumpkin video, I'll have the link in the description below.
All right, I'm working that black in now. And just in case you were wondering, it took me one week to make six pumpkins. So that's a drying time and everything. So that's not, that's not too bad, right? So if you end up making a pumpkin, I would really love to see a picture. Send me a picture. All right, so I'm adding what is my favorite part of this whole process, the white. It really molds it up, finishes it off. A little white goes a long way. So I'm just going to finish him up, and then I'll show you all the rest of my finished jacks so far, because you know I'm not done making these guys yet. I've got a few other things I've been working on too. And here's what we're gonna seal them up with. So it's been a fun afternoon. Careful, they're like potato chips. You just can't make one. watching this video. Subscribe for more. Talk to you soon.